welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla Will. Today it's going to be like an IB reaction, IB scores reaction video. If you didn't know, I have been in the International Baccalaureate program for the last two years. Um, I'm a graduated senior and tomorrow my test scores will be coming out. So today I'm just doing like talking about how they're going to be different this year because of Corona and I'm going to be talking about um, what I think I'm going to get and stuff like that. So basically, yeah. So I have like, the IB website on my phone to like read what they say the scores are going to be based on. So basically, from my understanding without reading this, it's going to be based on teacher predictions and our IAs. IAs are internal assessments, and you basically, most of them are like papers or research projects, depending on the school, the class. Like for history, it's a, a paper, for, for religions, it was a paper, for bio, it was like a project, for math, it was like a project type thing, so yeah. That's what I heard they were going to be based on, and then, as usual, our EEs, CAS. Yeah. There's one of those things. EEs are extended essays, which are 4,000 word papers about a subject and a topic of our choosing. I did my EE on and the subject of world religions on um, the three branches of Christianity, um, the three main branches, which is um, Protestant, um, Orthodox, and one more of the Catholicism. Duh. Anyway, but I did mine on the differences between the three branches of Christianity. Um, I feel like it's one more thing. He is, can, I, okay, so let's read what the site says. Basically, school closure results. How will results be calculated? We'll be using vast historical assessment data to ensure that we follow a rigorous process of due diligence. Please don't find my cat. Wait, what's today? It says the results will be released on July 5th. Today is July 5th. But I think it's based on what I think, because this is really not telling me anything. Yeah, this is not telling me Jack. So from what I understand, it's based on our IAs and predicted scores. So our teachers don't tell us predicted scores because they feel like if we get lower than our predicted scores, then they shorted us or something. I don't know, but they had had incidents where parents and students were calling, complaining, doing all that stuff because they didn't get their predicted scores or anywhere close. So I'm going to predict myself based on my grades and how I feel I did in that class. I've already taken one assessment um, last year because it was a one year class that I took my junior year, and it was for religions. Um, and I got a five on that. It's like one through seven. It's not like AP where it's one through five. It's one through seven, so seven is the highest. But I got a five on that, which is actually really good. Um, not really good, but it's good. Um, and I did my EE in more religions. I completed cast, so that's good. There were some, oh, the TOK essay is the other component. So if you do the TO, you have to pass the TOK essay and the EE to get your diploma. If you fail either of those, you fail your diploma. If you don't do cast, you fail your diploma. If you get a one on any subject, you fail your diploma. So I'm really scared. I'm kind of like relieved that I didn't have to do my math exam because I was almost 100% sure I was going to get a one. So that kind of helped me a little bit, but um, 
hopefully my predicted score is no one because it's very possible because my album is just but yeah so the classes I took were I took IB bio I took IB math SL I took IB bio HL IB math SL IB history HL IB Spanish SL world religions SL English HL I, that's it yeah I think that's it because it's supposed to be three and three so my HLs were English history and bio and my SLs were Spanish, world religion, and math. Yeah, so those are that. Um, so I'm going to do my HL predicted scores. I predict for bio that it's like four. The people that do these videos are getting sevens, so I don't want you to think that just because I'm making this video I'm the queen of IB. No, it was not like that. I was stressed, it was painful. But it was worth it in my opinion. But a lot of people that went to and did IV in my school are not going to say the same thing. But I think it really does prepare you for the rigor of college classes. Not saying, not that I know because I haven't taken college classes yet, but I have done AP and that's like the whole point. It's supposed to prepare you. So comparing IV to AP, IV is definitely 110% harder than AP. So if AP classes are supposed to prepare you, then IV is definitely preparing you. But yeah, so, so bio I say four, math two. I just need enough to get passing, you know, because I just don't know. I really don't know. It could be a three. I'm going to say three. And then, or, or what's the other HL? History, I think five. Five. And then English, five, two. I think it could be a four or five just because. Last year, English teacher really just didn't like me. But this year, she did. So I think we're on the same page as a five for her. And then Spanish, three. Um, what else is there? World religions is already five. So and world religions five, I think, is going to help me because yeah. And then I think I'm going to get the extra point with my EE because I personally think my EE was the bee's knees. But who knows? And I think I'll pass my TOK. I say not get any points, but pass, like get a C. Or I think you can't, you just can't get an E or a fail F. I don't know. Because, like, in my high school, it's A, B, C, D, E, not A, B, C, D, F, like normal schools. But yeah. So, yeah, basically, the next clip will be me reacting like live at 10 30. Tomorrow, when the scores are supposed to come out, me reacting, seeing what I got, seeing if I got the diploma, and you'll get to see that. And then we'll talk about it some more, talk about how I'm feeling, do I think IB was worth it after knowing my results, what I plan to do in college, will these results help me with that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So let's, yeah. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the day that this course comes out, it's actually a couple minutes later because I didn't want to do it right when it came up because last year when I did that for the World Religions exam, the site crashed. So, we have it right here. Um, there's going to be like a screen recording right here, but yeah, so I'm just typing in my information when it comes out. I'm really nervous. I didn't get it. I knew I was going to get a 2 in math. I'm going to 3 in history. I got a C on my EE. Yeah. I was not expecting this 2 in biology. Okay, so I'll just read the scores. So in English, I got a 4. Spanish, I got a three. In history, I got a three. On the EE, I got a C. On in world religions, I got a five. We already knew that. In bio, I got a two. And in um, math, I got a two. I don't know how to feel and get my diploma. I mean, from what I understand, a lot of people didn't get it. But yeah, there's that. I did not get my diploma. Um, I guess like pre exams, I was never. Like, I never thought I was going to get my diploma, but I didn't think I would have gotten a 2 in biology if I took the exam. 
because the IAs were like hard. I don't know. I don't feel like this is an accurate representation of what I could do because the one test I did take, I got a five. So I feel like this is not an accurate representation of what my scores would have been, in my opinion. I really don't feel like it is. Just because, like, I actually did take this test and I got a five. And the ones that we didn't get to take were lower. So I don't really feel like that's it's a hundred percent an accurate representation of what I've gotten. But I think I'm still gonna post this because people need to see like people that don't succeed. Well, I don't think I failed because I didn't fail. I just didn't get the diploma. And it's a pandemic, so it's like there's worse things happening in the world, but it's just, just not, I don't know. Yeah, and do I feel like I've always worked it? I'll get back to you when I'm in college. How about that? We'll see after I go to college. But yeah, so I did not get my diploma. Um, don't feel discouraged if you didn't get your diploma. You still went through that rigorous program that not a lot of people in the state the world can say that they do so be proud of yourself for doing like, feel like this thing as well basically don't feel discouraged if you didn't get it i didn't get it i had pretty good grades i had above a 3.5 every semester of high school so what was my gpa i think it was a 3.8 so just don't even you still can do great things and not get a diploma i know a girl that goes to nyu that didn't get her diploma like it's really not that big a deal. Don't stress. But yeah, so. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell me if you got your diploma, tell me what your score was, um, all that good stuff. I would love to hear it. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in after a couple weeks in college and see if the diploma helped me at all. But I do think it helps with time management and stuff because that's a lot of rigorous classes to take at once. And that's writing papers because I definitely wrote some long papers. Um, yeah, so subscribe.